Hi children, welcome back. So already we have discussed the steps of the crop production and uh, in the last video we have stopped uh, till the two systems of the irrigation that uh, those are the drip irrigation and the sprinkling uh, method or system of the irrigation. These two are very famous and water saving and uh, um, very advanced technology systems. In the drip irrigation as the name itself indicates the in the drip irrigation we will be having a small pipes to the whole uh, to the uh, whole over through over the plant or through over the field wherever we have planted a small um, plants there then when the pipe or the part of the pipe will be near to the plant uh, root of the plant for example root of the plant if the pipe is here and this is a root of the plant this a small hole will be the opening from here the water comes very in water will be flowing very in a small amount then the water comes uh, to the roots or this uh, plant then uh, that much water will be sufficient to the one particular plant there is no wastage of the water again the pipe will be continuous like this straight next when another plant will come again there will be a small opening so that the water will come out of the uh, pipe and it will help to the plant to grow the plant this is how the drip means there will be a very small like um, uh, uh, a small amount of water will come out of the pipe and it will help to grow the plants this is how uh, uh, by doing the small holes to the each part of the pipe even the every plants are also going to get the water and uh, sufficient water and there there will not be any water wastage and you can do this system wherever if the field is uh, uneven or if the field is uh, not equal or if the field is uneven or you can do like this uh, system use like this system for some um, um, vegetables and the fruit plants okay this is what known as the drip irrigation where we get uh, water drop by drop without wastage of water and the, this is the method uh, very famous because of only one uh, uh, thing that is we are not at all wasting any water in this system this is what the drip irrigation then next system is the sprinkling method uh, you might have seen in your uh, school garden or other garden or parks there will be a, a like this uh, sorry perpendicular pipe and uh, continuously it will be rotating as it rotates the its head is going to rotate with the force uh, with the force there will be a water even uh, around that uh, pipe the water is going to be sprinkled like this and even this method is also very much famous to save the water here we are going to save the water there is no wastage of water and a very small amount of water it is going to sprinkle out and that much amount of water will be sufficient for some particular plants the, that may be the show plants that may be the lawn or that may be the grass or that may be the different plants in the garden different flower plants in the garden show plants in the garden even these or this is helpful for some type of vegetables also some type of flower plants also and some type of fruit plants also okay this is how the sprinkling system is useful in the irrigation by using these two systems we can save the water uh, in highest level of saving of the water there will be no wastage of the water and unnecessarily in the field water is not at all wasted if uh, other than giving to the particular plant if the water is not supplied to the particular plant if the water is supplied in all the area there will be a possibility of uh, growing of unwanted plants then by using these two systems we can reduce the um, growing the unwanted plants this is how about the irrigation 
uh, that is advanced irrigation of two systems one is drip irrigation and another one is sprinkling method and the next one is once after the sowing is preparing the soil is over sowing is over and the um, irrigation is over after this we must go for spraying the fertilizers or we have to add the fertilizers to the plant which will help the plant to grow very healthy and very easily and even those fertilizers will help the plants to get the uh, all the nutrients which are required for the plants in the fertilizers again we have the artificial fertilizer and even the um, naturally done manure we call that as a manure by adding those two both of we can add by adding those two the plants will get the all the nutrients and which they will help uh, to grow the plants very healthy and they can give the best yield okay this is what the next step of the um, crop production and um, once after the fertilization or uh, adding the fertilizer is over after that there are by this time there will be a, some other unwanted plants which are grown in the field those unwanted plants must be removed must be removed otherwise those all are going to get the water whichever we have given to the our plants and they will get all the nutrients which we have added to the soil by using the fertilizers and the manures so uh, to avoid this one we must remove those all unwanted plants and this process is known as the weeding this process is known as weeding that is removing of weeds in the field our field so that by removing the uh, weeds so that uh, we will help to our plants to grow the healthier the next step is weeding after the fertilizer or adding the manures to the soil we must go for the next step that is the weeding if once the weeding is done the plants will grow and they will reach their maturity level and again they are going to give us a fruit or a seed after this um, after the once the time period is over for a particular crop we must go for a harvesting harvesting means we have got whatever uh, we need we have got those all the fruits and those the plant has reached to its maturity and it has given the flowers and the fruits we have to go for harvesting if the once the harvesting is done it is most important and the last step is most important that we must go for storing because in our field we are going to grow for example we are going to grow a sunflower then the sunflower seeds i will remove from the sunflower after reaching the maturity level and those sunflower seeds are stored because in my field i am going to grow in a large amount of seeds I, uh, only the fa my family members will not eat those all the seeds or those all uh, seeds are utilized by only my family members though I should supply to the other um, areas also I should sell those so then uh, so that I can get the money because of that the next and the last step is most important that is known as the storing or storage of the crop that may be the sunflower that may be the jowar that may be the wheat that may be the groundnut whatever type of the crop may be but the last step will be storage of those that particular crop and uh, we should store those all um, different types of the crops either in uh, using a jute plant, uh, jute bag or we can use a metal um, a big um, tanks will be there we can use that one or we can construct a one big uh, tank like cement tank we can put all the our whatever crop is there we can put inside so we can protect those all the crops by, from the uh, air and the water or the rain or other climates of the uh, our seasons if uh, we are going to protect those all uh, crop are going to remain or unspoiled these are how the different uh, steps here how we are going to follow the crop production and the crops are not at all going to produce very easily or within one or two days these all process needs a uh, minimum six months to get a one crop one type of crop there will be uh, uh, there will be sufficient time or it needs at least six months time in a six months times we are going to follow these all steps and we will get a final yield that is a good yield 
okay i hope you all have got this uh, all the points whatever we have discussed in the this video that is how the complete idea of crop production from the beginning in the first video until the last video i hope you all have done the homework in the last video whatever i have given the simple questions and even by ending this video i'll give you some questions that is what the your homework children you have to write what are what are the remaining steps of the crop production we have discussed in particular this video you have to write and even you, you can explain the each step if once if you write no it is going to be permanently in your brain so uh, try to write and practice these all because even this one you may learn in the next classes also i hope you will do this work and uh, in the next video we will discuss about the next topic bye bye